How's that Eugene, right? Yeah, back on Ruach exposure. Ruach means Holy Spirit, when the breath of God. And what's very important about me starting this channel is Ruach is wind. So every time I walk outside, I feel the breeze, it reminds me of the Holy Spirit. But um, I actually got a friend with me from the church, from a Word of Faith Christian Center. And right now, um, Alfred, with no introduction, would you just share a message on the Holy Spirit, a testimony, or any word for the viewers out there? Sure. Ruach HaKodesh, <clears throat> that is the Holy Spirit, that is the third person of the Trinity. He is God. Um, he's the one who makes us as the body of Christ, as Christians, into one body because we're all born of one spirit. And um, the promise of the Father is that we should receive the Holy Spirit to everyone who believes in Jesus Christ. This promise comes. Oh, yes. So this promise from God is the promise that God puts in our hearts that cry of Father, the Spirit of His Son, Sonship, so that uh, the heart of Jesus is beating in us, crying out to God, Abba Father, so that we know that we are the children of God. And we, being the children of God, are in line for all the promises of God because we are co-inheritors with Christ Jesus. This means that every promise in the Bible is for us. We have that right through Jesus Christ, who, with whom we are co-inheritors. That is really great news. And the day that you put your trust in Jesus Christ, you're in line for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And I can tell you what happened to me when I was baptized in the Holy Spirit. Um, although I had grown up in an Anglican church, and I'd heard Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and the Creed, and all kinds of things for 14 years or more, I never heard those words, Holy Spirit, really register in my mind and think, what is that? Wow. Until one day, somebody lent me a book, and I read about the Holy Spirit, that it was promised by God, and that the Holy Spirit is God. And I read this, and at the end was a prayer which said, Ask the Father in the name of Jesus for the Holy Spirit, because it is His promise to everyone who believes. So I prayed this prayer, and I turned my friends away who wanted to do other things, and I went to bed. Because it said there, don't worry how you feel. Don't worry if you don't feel anything. Trust God. The next morning, before I opened my eyes, I was a changed person. Before my eyes opened, I woke up and I said, something's happened. I'm a new being, a new creation. I'm completely different. And to, from that day, 1983, to this day, 2019, I'm a different person from who I was before. I'm completely changed. I'm now born of the Holy Spirit of God, and I'm a child of God, and therefore family with you and every believer. Amen. 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 I like that very much, you know. Uh, when I first got saved, and, and um, you know, when I got baptized into the faith, um, I had a microphone in me and I just get thanks and I and a short little message. But you know, um, slow for sure, I learned how to have a relationship with the Holy Spirit, how to understand the Father. And I slipped up a bit yeah, there, but when I got baptized with the Holy Spirit, when I ever, every time I did something wrong, it's like the Holy Spirit will just tug me and remind me, hey, hey. And that's really the Holy Spirit who, who, who as He doesn't, or He's there and He tells you you're doing wrong. And you will leave you because you, of your choices you make, but you will know you're doing wrong. And till the day that I actually said, whoa, I have to come back to the Lord, you know. And ever since then, I never looked back. I went to Bible college. Um, I went, I'm now back to Bible college. I almost finished with my, my, my studies. And what happened is I, I got to know God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit before. Because I'd never understand how does the Bible speak about the Lamb of God? I'm like, until I actually went into it and studied it. So to me, for every believer out there, and if you're watching this and you're new to the station, please go ahead and subscribe and, and listen up for my next video. And a few, like um, a few words of Hebrew and so on, I'll, I'll be teaching, but just mostly encouragement words and praying and so forth. So, and, if you're not a believer and you want to accept the Lord Jesus Christ right now in your heart, and I pray, Lord Father God, right now that you will receive the power of the Holy Spirit where you are right now, where you're sitting. I pray that your heart will be open and any attack the enemy has thrown against you, any stones will fall to the ground right now in the name of Jesus. 
covered by the blood of Jesus. He died on the cross for you as a one where, where, where our past be, uh, my sins are either wrong and, and, and that Jesus thought of me and he thought of you. He thought of Albert, Alfred right next to me. Alfred, he thought of you. That's um, my name. Yes, in last words before we just end the, this podcast. Yeah. Jesus said in, in, in the word of God that no one who comes to him will he turn away. Absolutely mm. no one. Okay. Yes. He's faithful. His name is faithful and true. And um, anything that Jesus has said to us, we can take and we can stake our lives on it. In fact, that is the wise thing to do. Okay. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thanks for sharing. Okay. Well, that's, that's it for, for, t- for today. Until we meet again, uh, Shalom. See you. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll share some links and how to get hold of us as well. And an uh, email address. You can email me for prayer on Ruach. 307 at gmail.com for any prayer requests, any questions to be answered, if you want to ask needs to be answered I'm available and I'll answer every single message God bless